guys, today it is time for another Top 5 Wednesday. This week's topic is another negative topic and it is about your least favorite books in your favorite series and I thought this topic was so cool it sounds like so much fun by no means do I hate any of these books I still love all of these books these are just not as good as the other books in this series and I have decided to rank them in the way that number five is the book that is still a really amazing and loved book for me and number one is the one that was really like weakest compared to the other books. Number five is more the one where I just didn't love it quite as much as the other ones but still loved it a lot. But yeah, in general I love all of these but I just thought it would be fun and challenging to rank these in that way so let's get started. My number five is Mockingjay by no Top 5 Wednesday without mentioning The Hunger Games. As you know, The Hunger Games trilogy is my favorite trilogy and I really love all three books. And there's many people out there who really do not like Mockingjay, but I still loved Mockingjay quite a lot. I still loved it after rereading it and I think rereading it now I would still absolutely love it and I still gave it 5 out of 5 stars and it still made me drown in feels and I still want to marry this trilogy and everything like that so even though it is definitely my least favorite and it is my least favorite from the trilogy with a good like space between that like Catching Fire is very much up there then we have Hunger Games like here and Mockingjay is more like here but still as a book in general I absolutely loved it. Number four is Graceling from the Graceling Realm trilogy, another one that I still absolutely love. I haven't reread this yet and the first time that I read it I was reading it in German and I was listening to the audiobook so uh, when I reread it sometime soon I will maybe have different thoughts about it but at this point I just feel like it is the weakest of the three and it might just have to do with kind of world building and such and maybe being a bit slow at the beginning for the world building but still really like this book overall, really love the main character but yeah that's kind of the thing. In Fire I just was so in love with the main character and Bitter Blue was just a book that I loved overall where I loved all of the characters and I was already you know familiar with the world so I think Graceling had just a really hard job of keeping up with that. I think when I will finally reread it I will probably love it more as I did the first time but I probably won't love it more than the other two books. Next we have City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This is the first book in the Moral Instrument series and I am definitely someone who still absolutely loved the first book but I can understand why many people do not love it as much and there's definitely a lot of world building involved and kind of getting into the world and the world is definitely pretty complex so it's really not easy getting into it in the beginning. I still gave it 5 out of 5 stars and still loved it for many many reasons and I think I just kind of fell in love with the world right away so it wasn't as bad for me but yeah I see the points as to why many people do not enjoy it as much. Next we have maybe a controversial one and that is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone the first book in the Harry Potter series and I only recently read the first and second book I didn't read them as a child because I only started after the movies came out and then picked up the third book after I watched the second movie and so I only recently read them so it's just for me probably a different kind of nostalgia connected to the other books than for this one. First book is just, except for you know building up the world and stuff, it's just very simple. There's just not too much happening, we just get a lot of Hogwarts and I love these aspects of the book but I just still think it is not able to hold up with any of the other books. This is more middle grade than the other books because this is really the book where we have Harry, Ron and Hermione as children and I think the other books were just really ones where we grew up with the characters and only later we find out how many things are connected and how crazy everything in this world is and it just doesn't really stand out to us in this first book. And my Number one is Dragonfly and Amber by Diana Gabaldon. This is the second book in the Outlander series and it has been a while since I've read this one so I don't know how I would feel about it now but 
When I picked up Outlander, I was just so in love with the setting and mainly the romance, obviously. The romance is so amazing in these books and I didn't really care for anything else at the time when I read it. So Dragonfly and Amber was kind of like reality really hit me with this one, how it is a lot about politics and political intrigue and stuff like that and I didn't really expect that from this one. Obviously it couldn't all be romance. I mean I'm old enough now to know that this would be boring as well but it's just very as I said political and historical and at the time when I read it this was just not something that interested me all that much. Still probably wouldn't interest me all that much but now I just more see it as a part of the series and I can really appreciate it and find it more interesting. Also understand things better obviously and I just remember that this really only picked up for me at like the last 300 pages maybe and when a book is that thick and has like thousand pages that is definitely not good enough. It was still a great book and I still found it all interesting and still loved it and it did not in any way weaken my love for the series overall. I think this is one that I only gave four stars and all of the other books I think had five stars or just in my thoughts are five star books whereas I can really remember that I struggled through some parts of this and also when I finished I just felt like really burned out from it so yeah. So these were my top five least favorite books and my favorite series. I, as I said, found this topic really enjoyable and really interesting. Just kind of fun to talk about them. And for the most part, I didn't really have any proper reasoning as to why I didn't like these books as much as the others. Most of the time, I think it's just a feeling, but still this was fun. And definitely let me know what your least favorite books in your favorite series are. I think, you know, this is kind of like two things. First, you have to figure out what your favorite series are, and then you have to figure Figure out what your least favorite books in this series are so definitely not an easy topic as well but nevertheless fun and yeah thank you so so much for watching and I guess I'll see you soon bye